The 2022 season has been a challenging one for Ferrari, and it appears that the team has had a lot of trouble getting on top of its issues. As a consequence of this, it is nearly inevitable that any time circumstances such as these arise inside one team, that team will hold conversations concerning the possibility of replacing the management. Even if this proves out to be accurate, the question remains of whether or not this is the best course of action for Ferrari to take in order to become a more competitive version of themselves. According to rumors originating from Italy, Mattia Bonato will be stepping down from his roles as managing director of Ferrari's sporting business and head of the Formula One team that the firm sponsors. The heavy suspicion that Ferrari was getting ready to replace Bonato was forcefully denied by the team in the lead-up to the Al Dhabi Grand Prix weekend. Despite this, Bonato is reportedly in the process of negotiating his resignation barely days after the season's conclusion, nevertheless. It was initially reported by Corriere della Sera that his departure is going to be made public today. Subsequently, this information was confirmed by La Gazzetta dello Sport and Sky Sports Italy. Charles Leclerc, a driver for Ferrari, defeated Sergio Perez, a driver for Red Bull, to finish in second position both in the race and in the championship. This victory came in what is now expected to be Bonato's final race in control of the team. This was a win of sorts at the close of a season that fell short of the expectations set forth at the beginning of the year. The concentration that Ferrari placed on the new technical restrictions allowed it to gain an early edge over both Red Bull and Mercedes in 2022. As a result, Ferrari started the year by winning the Bahrain Grand Prix and quickly took the lead in both championships. However, Ferrari was unable to maintain their championship challenges as a result of a combination of poor dependability, strategy blunders, driver mistakes, and lackluster development. After the summer break, Ferrari was winless in the remaining races of the season, and the team finished the year with only four victories despite having more pole positions, 12, than any other team. The double stacking procedure in Monaco was one of the most significant missteps since it was executed so poorly that both Ferrari drivers lost places to Red Bull. This was one of the most significant failures. Also in Silverstone, Leclerc lost positions to Sainz, Perez, and Hamilton because he was forced to wait out the restart following the second safety car. This placed him in the position of its sitting duck. After that, we remember the classic photo of Bonato supposedly telling Leclerc that he couldn't say everything he wanted to the media about the situation at Silverstone. Leclerc is shown being informed by Bonato that he can't say whatever he wants. From the beginning of the season to the very end, Ferrari made several mistakes. Another mistake was made in Brazil, and it occurred during the qualification for the sprint race. Leclerc was the only driver to utilize intermediate tires, since the team mistakenly anticipated that heavy rain would fall during the qualifying session. That resulted in Leclerc losing time during the qualifying procedure, which prevented him from moving up the rankings in Key 3, and resulted in him finishing in 10th place overall. Even more infuriating for Leclerc is the fact that the team summoned him into pit for soft only after he had already passed the door to the pit stalls in order to explain the reason why. Before Ferrari's home race in Italy in September, team chairman John Elkan offered Bonato a public vote of confidence, but he also emphasized that the team needed to improve in all aspects. This was the first indication that Bonato was under pressure to perform. At the close of the season, Rumors began to circulate in Italy and France that Ferrari was planning to replace Bonato with Fred Vassar, the head of Sauber. Vassar is a longtime ally of Charles Leclerc, having run the kid in karting, GP3, and in his rookie season in Formula One. It was thought that Bonato sought reassurance from Elkan that this was not true, and this triggered Ferrari's public denial of those rumors. But in the week following Abu Dhabi, new reports have emerged suggesting that Bonato is definitely out with suggestions of a rift between himself and Elkan, and a reported desire from Leclerc's camp for a change in leadership. These reports come alongside rumors of a rift between Bonato and Elkan. Although Leclerc is under contract with Ferrari through the conclusion of the 2025 season, there has been speculation that he may leave the club after that point. Since 1995, when he originally joined the organization as an engine engineer as a member of the test crew, Bonato has spent his whole professional career working for Ferrari. After working his way up through the ranks of Ferrari's engine division, he was promoted to the role of Chief Technical Officer in 2016. He succeeded Maurizio Arrivabene as team leader and managing director of the Gestione Sportiva three years after that. During his tenure as team leader, 
Ferrari was mired in an engine scandal in 2019, which resulted in the FAA issuing a series of technical clarifications. This was followed by a precipitous decline in Ferrari's performance, as the team went winless for the next two seasons. Ferrari was given the opportunity to rehabilitate, which it did to a great extent, and was able to do so thanks to the revised regulations for 2022. But it is obvious that flaws still exist across the board. Bonato's leadership was supposed to usher in a period of stability for Ferrari once again and a move away from the politics that had created a culture of fear and a revolving door policy for much of the company's history. Both of these things had been a problem for a significant portion of the company's existence. The rumored departure of this individual would be detrimental to the process, and it is unknown whether Ferrari has an instant replacement, similar to Vastor, lined up to take his position. Benedetto Vigna, who is now serving as CEO, would be asked to temporarily assume some of Bonato's tasks in the meanwhile. What a crazy situation! Should Mattia Bonato be replaced or not? Tell us what you think in the comments.